Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. So in today's video, I'll be showing you how you can mod web games made in GDevelop 5 with this tool known as GD Mod. So this tool right here is a mod loader and modern API for games made in GDevelop 5. So in this video, we'll be going through this mod and I will be showing you how you can actually make use of this mod to modify web games which are made in GDevelop 5. So this tool was created by Arthuro555, a GDevelop user and a hobbyist developer who has contributed to GDevelop in numerous ways. Okay, so let's begin the tutorial. So when modding web games with the GDMod 2, there are a few things you need first. So the first thing you need is the extension. Now this extension gives you a UI to mod GDMod games. You can install mods with it and switch between scenes. Now this can easily be downloaded from the web store and add-on store in some browsers. The first would be the Firefox browser. If you have a Firefox browser, you can easily download this from the Firefox um, add-on store. So I'll leave a link in the description to download this extension. Now you can also download this if you're a Microsoft Edge user. You can download this from the Edge add-ons and basically here the extension is. I would also leave a link in the description of this video. Now if you're a Chrome user, I would show you how you can install the extension right now so let's say you're chrome if you're like me and you use chrome okay so you'd have to go to the gd mod repository on github i'll leave a link in the description and into the releases tab keep in mind that the gd mod is not on the chrome web store so we have to install this manually so what you want to do is scroll down to the extensions.zip and let's download this Okay, so we have that downloaded. This and let's extract this. So I'm using WinRAR for this, so I'll extract to extension. And we have this folder called extension. So this is the GD mod extension. Now we need to load this extension directly from Chrome. So to do this, you'd have to go into your extensions in Chrome by clicking on this and manage extension. So you should see all extensions right here. So the next thing you do to load your extension is to enable the developer mode. So you need to enable this and load on pack. This you should see this option. So load on pack. Let's click on that. And here we go. So let's go to our downloads where we have the extension. Now you need to select this folder and click select folder. So there we go. We have the extension loaded. It's the GD mod patcher. So this is the extension and this is how you can download and install it for the Chrome browser. So the next thing to do is find a suitable game to patch with this. So let's head over to itch.io. So this is my itch.io um, public profile and I would be modding my very own game, Mouse Journey game. So if you haven't heard about this game, it's a 2D plasma adventure game, which you can play online and also download the source code if you want to work with it so let's open this let's run the game okay so here we have the game running just in case you want to download the source code i'll leave a link in the description of this video so I'll click on play and this should display the first thing this is the first thing of the game and what i'll do now you need to go into extensions right here, click on extensions and let's pin the GD mod so we have it displayed at the top right here. Okay, so now let's open up the GD mod. That's the GD patcher. And you should see this open control panel. So this button should be enabled if a GDevelop game is found. Now if I go to a website where there is no GDevelop um, game, let's say the releases tab, and let's try this GD mod, as you can see, it says no GD game found. So this would only work when there is a GDevelop game running on that website. So let's head back to this. And so here we have this game. It's the mouse journey game. So you can see this is how high I can jump. 
and we've been loading a mod for this to allow our player to jump higher than this so what you do now is head back into your chidi mod and click on the open control panel so this should open the control panel as you can see here we have the overview tab which says take a look at the wiki to get started or just try out some of the templates directly so with the control panel right here in the mod manager tab you can install mods and and also select a specific scene of the game as you can see in this game these are all the scenes i have i have the menu stage one all the way to the stage five the boss battle settings so you can basically just select whatever scene you want to and it would switch to that scene this is a really good tool for g developed games so let's head back to our mod manager now i'll show you how you can install a mod so what you want to do is click on the install mod button as you can see right here so click on this so right now we have no gd mod so we'd have to download some mods from the from the gd mod github repository so to do that i'll close this and let's head back to our overview and you can click on the template so this would open the gd mod templates tab that brings us to this this is basically the gd mod repository and now let's open up the mod templates folder now here you can see all the available mods for the gd mod we have the fps hello world moon jump resource test now we need to download all those mods now to prevent having to download the entire repository i would advise you use a tool like downkits downkits would basically let you download a specific directory in a repository so for this we only need the mod templates directory in this repository so Let's head up here and copy the URL. Let's go into down gets and paste this. So let's download this. And this should download only the files in this, in the mod templates folder. So there we go, we have that downloaded. Now let's show in folder and let's extract the files. Extract. And there we go so we have the mod templates and mod templates so these are all the four mods which are available presently we have the fps hello world moon jump and resource that's now if we open up the fps you should see three files we have the code data and the fps now this is a zip file it's a compressed file which contains the code and data so these two folders are compressed to form this file so this is what we'll be loading and not the code and data so let's go back to our game let's open up what's okay here's our control panel now let's go into our mod manager and install a mod So here we have our mod templates and you can select the mod moon jump mode and click on the moon jump compressed file so select this and open so this should install the mod so let's show details and here you can see the information about the mod the version number the author the uid and now we can choose to enable this right here and you can also check this if you want the mod to auto load so just enable this now and we have that enabled so if we go back to our game and we press space as you can see we can we can jump much higher than before the mod was enabled we could not jump this high but right now as you can see we can jump very high so that's to show you that the game has been modded by the gd mod patches so this is not the only uh, mod we have available because this is currently the moon jump which basically lets you jump to the moon i guess okay so let's try in another extension let's try in another mod and let's head back to our control panel i'll put this to the center and install mod so into our mod templates folder and in our fps this is the frames per second you would select the compressed file which is in a zip format so i'll open this and this should install the mode for us so here we have the fps counter now if we show the details you can see the mod information again the version the author and the uid so we can just enable this and we should see the frames per second on the screen 
there we go so this is the frames a second right now and we have that displayed right there on the screen so there we go that's how easy it is to mod Chidwell games with this extension we also have some other mods which you can work with right here since we have four mods currently you can also write your very own mod and submit it so it's added to the mod templates so like i said earlier this is a tutorial which will show you how to mod web games with the gd mod 2. in the future i will show you how you can mod pc games which are made with gd 5 so that's also possible with the gd mod 2. okay so before we wrap this up if you really enjoy the extension i would recommend or advise you buy the creator which is art 555 a coffee on Kofi. so as you can see he's really investing lots of his time in projects like this these are amazing projects which everyone should find useful so there we go that's it's for modern web games with the GD mod. Thanks for watching and if you liked the tutorial, don't forget to subscribe and share the video. I'll see you guys in my next tutorial.